Welcome back. Uh, in the last class, uh, we were discussing about uh, how to uh, find uh, partial molar property using analytical equation of state. In today's class, we will start with uh, uh, obtaining partial molar property through experimental uh, data. Okay, so we will start with that and later on uh, we will move, uh, move into uh, finding out the mixtures property for ideal uh, solution on first with the gas and then followed by solution. Okay, so, uh, So, in case you have uh, molar properties, then you can as a function of uh, composition, then you can find uh, partial molar quantities from the experimental data. Okay. So, let us assume that uh, we are concerned or we have information of uh, a general let us say a property E at uh, a given temperature and pressure. So, E could be uh, volume, could be uh, uh, enthalpy or could be uh, free energy. So, this uh, comes from uh, your density measure measurement, this comes from calorimetry and this comes from your phase equilibrium data. Okay. So, let me just draw a schematic representation of uh, E as a function of uh, x, let us say component 1 okay. and we are talking about from here 0 to 1 and the data which are let us say assu assuming this uh, starts from a pure component here. So, these are the data. Okay. So, I will let me draw a kind of a dashed line which follows this data. Okay, so, uh, our interest is to find out the partial molar properties. So, let me start with the definition again for E mix here and let us consider as a binary mixture. So, it will be E x 1 E 1 plus x 2 E 2 right. E is for the mixture, this is again we are considering the molar properties. So, is a delta E of mixture, the change in the molar property of uh, E uh, in the mixture is uh, E of the mixture minus that of, of the pure component and E here is nothing but summation X i E i that is the partial molar property. So, what we are interested is to find out E 1 bar and E 2 bar for the binary mixture. Okay. So, this is nothing but X 1 E 1 bar plus x 2 E 2 bar. Okay. So, let me uh, may, uh, you know write down the numbers as far as the equations are concerned, you know this will help us later. So, this is 1, this is a second equation. Okay. So, let me take first uh, the derivative uh, of uh, E with respect to x 1. Okay. So, it gives us E 1 plus uh, del E 1 by del x 1 x 2 plus del x 2 del x 1 E 2 and here is going to be x 2 del E 2 bar by del x 1. Okay. So, this comes from the first term, this is from the second term. Okay, so, what we know is now uh, that uh, this uh, because x 1 plus x 2 is uh, a 1 okay, and hence this is nothing but minus 1. Okay. So, with this we what we have is uh, del E by del x 1 this is E 1 bar and uh, this is uh, minus E 2 and then I have these two terms x 1 del E 1 bar by del x 1 plus x 2 
daily two bar by del x one. Okay. Now this essentially should be zero because this comes from your Gibbs Drehan relation, where we say that summation of course x i d e i bar is basically zero. So this you can clearly see that I can write this as x one d x bar by x one plus x two del e two bar by x one that will be zero. So this is nothing but this one. So with this the del e by del x one is nothing but e one by e two. So this was two, this is three, let us say this is four and this is u five. All right. So I have equations here. Now what I am going to do is I am going to play with, uh, use this equation uh, to simplify this expression because our interest is to find out e one bar and a two bar. So uh, I am going to use uh, uh, equation five, multiply x two with that, plus I will add equation two. So equation five plus equation two, right? This is what I am saying here. So and this would lead to x two multiplied by equation 2 is, uh, so it is going to be e plus x 2 del e by del x 1 and the right hand side this is x 2 e 1 minus x 2 e 2. So, I am going to get x 1 plus x 2 e 1 that is your e 1. Okay. So, this is one equation which got. Similarly, I can do minus of x 1 plus 2. So, this will give us e minus x 1 del e by del x 1 is equal to e 2. Now, this is a basically nothing but a equation of line and it suggests that this is nothing but an intercept here. Okay. Now, this is basically nothing but y and this uh, x is here, this is a slope. So, if you take a slope at a given value of x, okay. so if you take a slope let us say here at a given value of x, so let us say this is the value of x given here and if you take a slope that would be the d e by d x at a given value of x 1. Okay. This slope will tell you that on one end is going to be even bar. Okay, and the other end is going to be e two bar. So think about this as nothing but e is equal to x one del e by del x one plus e two bar, and this is nothing but some slope plus e two bar. Okay, so this comes from here. So essentially, e two bar is in the positive side. So this is the e two bar which we are going to get at that specific x one and this is going to be e 1 bar at the specific x 1. So, this is how I am going to obtain the partial molar properties of the let us say e here if you have a data. So, I take a slope at a given value of x 1 and we look at the intercept at both the ends and obtain the value e 1 or e 2 bar. Okay. Now, similar to this if the data is available not for the molar properties, but delta of e mix then as I, you, I can use a similar kind of exercise to obtain a relation. Okay. So, similarly if delta E mix is available or data is there, okay, the difference E i minus small e i can be obtained from the following relation. So, is delta E mix plus x 2 del by x 1 delta E mix is equal to E i minus E. So, this is uh, let us say 1, so it will be E 1. Similarly, delta E mix minus x 1 del x 
one delta e mix okay so this is going to be one this was two and right this is going to be e2 minus e2 okay so this is the way to obtain the relation if you if the information which is given to you is delta e mix okay so that is the kind of explanation or rather the way we wanted to describe particularly using the data given to us in the form of e or delta e as a function of the composition okay now uh, let me try to further summarize the information of uh, mixture property so we talked about uh, delta e in general but uh, let me just be very specific now we can talk about delta g here so delta g for mix can be shown as simply delta h mix for a given temperature okay so this is something which we can show okay and that you can prove in the following way that your delta g mix is nothing but g minus summation ni gi bar for the pure case all right this i can write as h minus ts minus summation ni this is nothing but since it's a molar property because g is nothing but h minus ts so i can write so instead of writing small i'm just writing the molar property i can also write g bar and here i can write this as summation ni hi bar okay or small g this is also good for us so this is for the pure case right and then i am trying to rearrange the temperature the uh, the second term t which is going to be s minus summation ni si bar okay and this is nothing but delta h mix and this is nothing but delta s mix okay so we can show this and similarly we can show other things also let me just quickly uh, uh, try to write it down for the sake of reference for example g i bar we can show g i bar to be simply h i bar minus t s i bar so g i bar which is a partial molar free gives free energy is nothing but del g by del n i at a constant temperature p t n j not equal to i okay and this i can write as now h minus t s i am ignoring the constants here this i can write d h by del n i again the constants are same tp nj not equal to i minus t del s by del ni again tp right and this is nothing but hi bar minus t si bar right now we know that uh, del g by del p at a constant temperature and all moles constant is nothing but v similarly del g by t by del t is nothing but s by t minus g by t square this you can show is nothing but minus g minus t s by t square and this is nothing but minus h by t square right now i can extend this exercise for all partial and delta g mixtures for example i can write this as i can without proving it i can say that del of g mix by del p at t and all other components fixed and the moles of the components fixed is nothing but del x mix okay so this is what i can show so you can just use this information extend directly to the mixtures similarly i can write here as del g i bar del p t and uh, x constant is del mu i because del g i bar is nothing but mu i del p this is nothing but v i bar okay the same thing so we are using here bar and you, what you getting is another bar here okay so we extending simple expression directly for delta delta term or bar term okay so that means um, the mixture change in the properties or is a partial molar properties similarly here i can write do the ex extent here also for the mixtures uh, in with respect to the temperature so that means i can write this as simply mix here divided by delta t this is nothing but delta h mix okay similarly you can extend this also in terms of uh, del mu i by t you can show that this is also nothing but this minus h i bar divided by t square 
So this is something which uh, would be useful for you to remember uh, how this expressions or you can make use of it in various different uh, conditions particularly if you are interested to find out delta mu for example you can make use of these expressions uh, integrated with respect to temperature and you can obtain it. So let me uh, close this part uh, by just writing down the final expressions of which is very useful this delta G mix with respect to del and i okay, at a constant T p and j not equal to i and this can be written or can be shown that this is related to nothing but the delta mu but so let me just write down first the expansion of this at the g mix uh, this should be delta here so this is g minus summation n i mu i t p pure right now i can expand this g here but since we are interested only in n i i can write this directly as del g by del n i minus simply mu i t p pure right and this is nothing but mu i we do not have to use bar anymore. So, it is going to be mu i because the partial uh, molar property with respect to n i when you take the differentiation this is not mm, just a mu i, but for the mixtures where I am where temperature and pressures are same, but compositions are there minus here that is for the case of the pure i right. So, the reason why I am writing is to emphasize that this is nothing but the pure. Okay. So, you can clearly see that the partial derivative of delta G mix with respect to n i is nothing but the difference in the chemical potential or potential of that particular component. Okay. So, we are going to use this information little later. Okay. Now, uh, so this is something which I would like to end as far as uh, the partial molar properties are concerned. Uh, we will take up uh, the next topic which will be ideal mixtures and then again we will try to connect that uh, to the fugacity part in the uh, next lecture. Okay. So, uh, with that I would like to close it and uh, see you in the next time.